Hi everyone, today we're going to make up some special holders for my deep water culture strawberry plants. These videos are brought to you by our Patreon contributors. Our top contributors are aquaponics.ai, growpockets.com, trueaquaponics.com, and glassbottleoutlet.com. Thanks for your support. Here's a remnant of a grow grip that I was using to hold the strawberry plants. The grow grips hold the plants great, but over time the roots just start going right into them. So I need to come up with a better solution for holding the plants and some material that won't break apart. Now these do work really well for lettuce and the short term plants, but something with roots like this that take a year or so to get going, they just uh, don't do very well. I'm not sure why, but I seem to come up with most of my ideas in the middle of the night and have to wake up and jot them down. This is what I've come up with. Essentially, it's a, a ring that sits on the two inch hole. There's a hinge point here and a clasp on this side so I can open and close that ring. And then inside of that is some type of a spring loaded mechanism that's holding the plant something with two sides or one big long one, I'm not sure, and then uh, the roots would, strawberry plant would be pinched in between it here. So I'm gonna draw that up and uh, see what we come up with. So here's the CAD design I came up with. Basically the same as the drawing, just much neater looking. Put a hinge on this side, has a little relief. Here's the spring-loaded mechanisms and then the clip to close it. I also added some serrated teeth on here just to help hold on to the plant a little bit better. So now when this closes up, you can see these teeth are intertwined with each other to get a real good grab onto that. So I think this should work out fairly well. I also made up this light cover piece. It actually takes two of them. Put these two knobs on here so it actually sits on here this way so the knobs straddle that side just to hold it in place a little bit here's the first printed version so we can test this out it's a spring loaded here it's got the hinge and then the clip so we can just clip it closed so all you have to do is put your plant in here close that up and it holds on to that plant it's got a lot of force, I can feel that on my finger pretty strongly, so hopefully it doesn't uh, crush the bottom too much, but I think it needs that to, to hold everything in place too. If we could even simulate a much larger plant, hold that in there, and you can see everything bends out of the way fairly nicely. One of my main concerns is these are probably going to be a single use because over the long term, uh, this plastic will have a memory to it, so when I take these out, it's just going to stay in that shape. But we'll test this out and see what happens with it. And here's a little light shield. Now these two little nubs straddle on either side of this, so this drops right into place. It doesn't block all the light, but once there's a plant in here, uh, most of the light will get blocked. It's just sort of to help a little bit. If the plant does outgrow this, uh, they should just be able to pop off and fall off. So they're just sort of a temporary light blocking measure until there's a, a crown on the plant. I've already loaded up a couple of rafts with plants just to see if these are going to work. And they work actually quite well. I'm very pleased with it. So I'm going to finish loading up my rafts today get these working. These clips are adapting to any size plant that I'm putting into it, whether it's just a little tiny one or a big one like this one. That spring just uh, goes right around everything. Here's a little tiny guy and it goes right in, clips into place. I can drop it right into its hole. And I can put the little light covers on too. If the plant gets too big, it'll just push them out of the way, I think. It'll still let a little light through here, but once the plant starts to grow and you get a crown, it's not going to be a problem. I've had far worse light getting into my bed. Here's a very large root ball. 
Again, just put the clip right around there, keeping the the crown up above the water line will actually be about an inch over here, so this will be pretty nice. And then that just clamps right around there. You can see the, the spring-loaded legs just bend right out of the way. Still holds the plant nicely. This one might be too big for a cover, but let's see. Oh, it fits in. The little hook does a pretty good job holding this closed, but even if it does pop open while you're handling it, once it's in the hole, even if it's unclipped, the hole will hold it closed anyway, so it doesn't matter whether it's clipped or not. I really like growing the strawberries in the deep water culture. The biggest issue that I have though is getting to the plants when they're several feet away. These plants are fairly labor intensive. Once you get something growing in here, you have to get to the berries. And in the meantime, they're also sending out runners that you want to try to keep pruned so that the energy goes into the berries themselves. So it can be also challenging to, to grow this way. But as long as you have your water well aerated, uh, they seem to do pretty well. It'll be interesting to see what happens with these after letting the strawberries grow in them for the year. There's a lot of force against this part of the plastic and I'm assuming um, it will just have memory to it and sort of keep this shape. So these may just become a disposable unit. It might spring back. I could maybe reheat this area and bend it back in, but we'll see what happens with it. I'm also going to try doing my tomatoes in these too this year. Seems to hold it nicely. We'll be up and running and then we'll have the string come down and just support it. I did make one change to the gripper area where I added these curves into it instead. And that's used to help hold my little tomato stems in place. And instead of having those teeth along the top, it was just creating a weird point where the tomato seedling could tip over by putting this little tube area in. I could at least stick a seedling in there and it might support it a little bit better. It's still going to get tied up relatively quickly, but if it's growing in here for a few days, it'll just help to keep them from tipping over until I get a chance to tie everything up. I really wasn't surprised to find a few of these clips did break and it's right in the corner where I suspected that they were going to. Especially once it started getting cold in here, this plastic really becomes brittle. And I've had a few that have broken on these tight corners. This piece is completely missing. Must have dropped in the bottom of the bed. So what I've done is I've modified the design just a little bit to make this less sharp of a corner. And that will allow for a little bit better springing in here. A lot less stress in that corner now. It's been a few weeks since I've planted all these strawberries. And they've been growing very nicely, except for a few of the clips that did fail. I haven't had any other issues with these. I've got about 450 plants planted in the system now. I'm not sure what else I'm going to use these for besides the tomatoes and the strawberries. I have a few other plants um, that I'll try out later this summer. I think these will work well. I also made up these filler plates just to cover up some of the, the spare holes that I have in here. Overall, I'm really happy with how these are working for growing with the strawberries. I think I might put these on my e-store just to see if anybody else wants to try them. They will just be the 3D printed version and I'm not going to guarantee how long they're going to last. So it's really just to get some feedback to see if this would be an, a good product down the road. 
So I'll put those on the e-store. The filler plates, I'll also uh, put the 3D printed file on there if you just want to print those out. That's not a complicated design. Uh, so you could print those yourself or also buy those uh, fillers too. So that's about all I have today. I'll probably do an update on these later on in the summer. Uh, the rest of the system is empty. We're still fairly early in the spring. I just have my lettuce getting started here. Uh, we're about out of the danger of having frost now. So we'll see how these progress uh, through the rest of the summer. In a couple of months, they'll be uh, producing strawberries. Once again, thanks for watching.